morning guys and welcome to this new video. Today I will be reviewing the most affordable hot hatch I think you can buy for under three and a half thousand pounds, the Mark V Golf GTI. Now when the Golf GTI came out in 2005, it was a godsend to car enthusiasts from Volkswagen. The Mark IV and Mark III weren't up to the mustard, I think, of being called a hot hatch. They were rather slow, a lot heavier than they used to be, and really didn't make you feel that special feeling you get from a Mark I or Mark II Golf GTI. This came with 197 horsepower and 201 pound-feet of torque from a two-litre turbocharged four-cylinder. That propelled the car 0 to 60 in around seven to seven and a half seconds and got a top speed of around 150 miles an hour. Believe me, it can do it. I've done it. Now these cars can be found for around three to three and a half thousand pounds, sometimes even lower. I actually got this car at steel at 1600 pound, which is due to the fact it was a Cat C write-off or a Cat D write-off which meant I had to replace quite a bit of the front end. Um, however, all in all, it cost me around £3,000 and for that I got a Mark V Gold GDI in Tornado Red with tartan seats, a sunroof and under 100,000 miles on the clock, which I don't think is too bad, really. I mean, it does move quickly. And there's not much you can buy that's got that kind of power and yet still can seat four people comfortably and you're shopping. So what are the pros with this car? Well, you get all that speed, all that power from a small four cylinder engine that can still produce on the motorway 40 miles to the gallon. And when you're thrashing it, it doesn't go much below 24. You can also fit four people here comfortably and these seats are comfortable they're not rock solid seats. And you can fit your shopping in the back, there's plenty of room. And really there's not much else you would want. You know, this thing is solid and feels so good inside. It feels like a quality item. It's so satisfying driving this car as well. It's really great. And it gives so much back. Everything is so perfect in this car. It's where you expect it to be. The gap between the steering wheel and the gear knob is perfect so you can get back and forth really quickly. The brakes, the accelerator, the clutch are so perfectly placed for hill toe. You can literally just bang it down in the gears and then out of corners you can absolutely hammer it. So what are the cons with this car? Well, um, I've got a bit of a rattle as you can probably hear. And apart from that, I can't really think of anything, if I'm honest. It's a really nice car for the money. And I don't think you can get much more car than this for 3,000 pounds. And let's not forget, this is 12 years old and produces 200 horsepower. The new Mark 7 has 230 or so horsepower. So this is only a remap away from the new Golf GTI's power. And it's not that much lighter or heavier than the new one. So I'd say this is great, this is fantastic. With a few upgrades, this could keep up with the Mark VI or VII happily. So guys, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.